Hi everyone, my name's Natalie and today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite, if not my most favourite plant and that is ginger. I absolutely adore ginger in all its various forms. Can't get enough of the stuff and I don't know why it is but I think it probably is a very useful herb for me. Probably something I think my body knows that it intrinsically needs. So I am actually, I'm, I'm that person that's always cold, you know, I'm in the office, can we get that air conditioning turned down? I've got my scarf on, my hat, my gloves, I'm the cold one, walking around for six months of the year, cuddling a hot water bottle. So ginger is just, it's just my perfect spice. It's got that warmth and with it, when you have it, you really feel like it's warming you up from the inside out. And that is clearly what I need constitutionally. So I love those little shots you can get from the supermarket or sometimes I juice my own and they just come in little bottles. I pretty much just take the whole thing in one go and I find that's quite a nice way to start my day. So I always have, I haven't got much left at the moment, but I always have a piece of the ginger root and I'll often make my own shots with this. I might combine it with a little bit of lemon juice oranges and um, black pepper they're all really good ways to spice it up and get that ginger benefit into your body another way that i take it sometimes is i take these ginger capsules because they're a really concentrated dose so it's powdered dried ginger root and i take those for period pains because there's something in ginger called salicylates and when you ingest that, the body turns it into salicylic acid. Now the way that works is that then the salicylic acid, it goes to the nerves and it stops them making certain prostaglandins. And these are particularly known for menstrual pain in making it feel worse. So for me, I really, even though I love ginger and I take it, naturally in my diet most days. When it comes to reducing pain, I felt that it definitely needed more and those capsules really help. So if it is something like period pain that you're looking to help with, for me, I found that I really need to get started early. So I'll start taking the capsules the day it's due and maybe I'm just beginning to get the slight inkling that it's on its way and I start taking those capsules then. And I take them several times throughout the day and I keep taking them until I'm through that part of my period where the pain is at its worst. And I find that really works well. If I wait until the pain's bad, it's a bit like fighting a losing battle, swimming upstream. It's, it's not too late, but it's, it's more difficult to get top side of then and really feel the benefits from that. So those are some ways to take it. It's also nice to take a ginger tea, especially if you're feeling the cold, you just want a little bit of warmth, a little bit of heat in your body, nothing too spicy, but just something to warm you up and feel good. Crystallized ginger is another way to have ginger. I don't have that so much, but I must admit, I do like it in a bit of dark chocolate. That's one way that I like to take it. And there are other benefits to ginger. So it's really good for digestion. So maybe a cup of ginger tea after your meal could be useful. I love ginger beer. I love ginger in all its forms. So there's another kind of way that it can be enjoyed, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. It's also um, good for nausea and morning sickness. So that's supposed to help really well. Not something I've tried for either of those conditions, but I've heard from others that they've had some relief, especially used to, had a friend who used to nibble on their crystallized ginger to help with her morning sickness, and that worked quite well. And it's also good, and I guess it's with that warmth, it's good for the improving your circulation, which again, personally, is something I suffer with. I have that Raynaud syndrome where when I'm cold and not even that cold um, the circulation doesn't go to my fingers and toes very well I've got cold hands often which as I've mentioned before my massage therapist so it's something I have to really work with either warming them up beforehand some way because it's not very nice to put those freezing cold hands onto one of your clients especially when they're nice and warm already 
And it's also um, good for other sort of muscular aches and pains. So it can, it can give you some pain relief in that area as well. And I must mention that it's a good antiviral. So it's good for coughs, colds, flus, and other respiratory complaints. And it's, I think it's, a lot of people like ginger, I think. I guess it is quite, it can be quite a strong flavor. So it's maybe not to everybody's liking. But I think there's so many different ways you can take it and you can also mix it into other drinks and foods that it's quite easy to get in there. So those are the main benefits I can think of for taking ginger and there are many different uses for it. So if you have any other herbs that you'd like me to talk about in future, please do drop me a note below. And I always appreciate it if you like to hear more of these talks, if you can like and subscribe.